is our first year <clears throat> to tap trees where we ran tubing as opposed to buckets. So this is the sugar bush. And it has three barrels. It's got one, two, and down here is a third one. And this is all gravity. We don't have a vacuum pump or anything participating. It's just based on gravity. And it seems to be working really well. We already collected 100 gallons like in a day or two of good flow. We should have good flow for the next week. And then it looks like it'll get cold again and slow everything down, which is better than getting warm and having the maples leaf out because that's when we pull our taps because that's when the bees start up. We should hopefully have a good solid month of this. Hi, Mimi. There's Chloe. Chloe's over here. This is our little retention pond that we built in order to make this area down here not so soggy. You can see this was just emptied yesterday afternoon. You can see the line of sap and the tubes running. And this is the pond. I hear somebody. Oh, there goes Chloe. There they go. It's called Chase, the morning chase. We have a little pond here that has a pump that is run off of that solar panel way over on that tree line. And so when it's sunny, it runs the pump. And somebody, our brother-in-law, gave us a couple, there goes, there goes a zoomy dog, gave us a couple um, goldfish put in here. Couple has multiplied. I always never think that they're going to make it. And then there they are. What are you, what's going on over here? Uh oh. Too much fun. What's going to happen? How long can they be still? Chloe's going to bust a gut. Bay doesn't start running. Oh, jeez. I can't keep up with her. Through the woods, through the woods, over the creek, back around. Where's Sissy? Oh, the race is off. <laughs> we live on 65 acres. And we've never had dogs before that didn't just stay up by our house stay on the on the deck and or stay in their dog house because these are outside dogs don't get don't start sending me letters they're outside dogs but they have the first dogs we've had to have shock collars on because these two are very independent they are bernie's mountain dogs and border collie mix that's chloe and this is May. May is named for the maple trees that give us our maple syrup. And Chloe is named for clover, which is the flower that gives us the majority of the nectar that the bees use for honey. And yes, they have their own Instagram account. Look under every day with Chloe and May, C-H-L-O-E. Then May's name is M-A-E. So every day with Chloe and May. Anyways, we trained them to what the collars meant. In when our pasture was still fenced in, we used a section of it with the board fence and taught them what that meant to feel the vibration. And after they learned that, they're very smart. My husband laid 47 acres worth of wire 
so they have the whole farm to run around. They're living their best life. Huh. I can't believe they're putting their paws in that ice cold water. <laughs> Just makes me chilly looking at you. Yes. Okay. Let's go start our day, girls. <laughs>